whole community come into power, not just an individual party or individuals within that party. And you think the Sun and the Mail and, you know, the, the, <laughs> the, the, the gentlemen's clubs of Paul Mall are going to like the idea of the whole community coming to well, power of course and they, sit down and do course, nothing. Of course they won't. And that's why the whole of the establishment is coming at us now. I expect that. But this is the 1% saying to the 99%, you can't have what you want. Or how dare you elect a socialist leader? What we're now saying is actually that 99% is going to have a voice, but not just a voice. They're going to be involved in government at every level to transform our society, radically transform. What sort of society do we want? We want a radical transformation where society is fairer, more equal, more democratic, yeah, based upon a prosperous economy that's economically and environmentally sustainable, where that prosperity is shared by all. We're the sixth richest country in the world. Don't tell me that we have to have a million people going to food banks every year. And don't tell me we have millions on housing waiting lists and that we have people sleeping in sheds, in parks. I said, well, there's no need for any of that. We just need to harvest our resources effectively.